He's pissed. It looks like they're uh, gonna just warm up for a bit. Uh huh. It does appear that way. with this up tech. I know I am. <laughs> Thank you. You're a respectable man. All right, we got a lone commentator for a bit. Uh, Wazzy's got to take care of some business real quick. So we got Snake Game & Watch. I personally believe that Snake wins this match, or not Snake, uh, Game Watch wins this matchup. He's got just landing hitboxes, better options in general. Snake doesn't have, like, technically Snake doesn't have a great neutral, uh, but it can be a lot of pressure if uh, not handled well. So right there, he tried to, he tried the grab armor, the uh, up smash, the mortar that was coming down. Because if he did it at the right time, then he would not be punished. Or he wouldn't be hit by the mortar. Both of these uh, players from the same region, so you're going to see a lot of knowledge uh, how to play both of them. Especially since Illinois uh, has both, or has rather two snakes uh, at their PR level. If he had gotten that upper, that would have very potentially been a kill on Game Wash. Because with that upper, he would have been obviously sent up further, and the sticky would have ended it. So what's good about what DFC is doing right now is that he's putting on a lot of pressure, uh, so that MVZY can't set up his game plan. I think that's really important against Snake. But if you're not careful, you're gonna get punished hard. And I think that's just the general concept of how you play Snake. You got a pressure, but if you're not safe, it's, it's gonna be a bad time. Because it's too easy for Snake to play their own game if you let them. The unfortunate part about uh, having mines down is that they're also pressuring the Snake if you get them in the right position. But the idea tends to be that uh, a Snake understands its position and how to interact with it better than you will. Because in all likelihood, uh, you're not snaking around, you're not Snake. Stickies are brutal. <laughs> Stickies are brutal, especially for Game & Watch. Yeah, so like, if you get them a, at like above a, a platform, it's over. Yeah. I mean, obviously not at every person, but at that person. I feel like for edge guarding Game & Watch against Snake, there's a lot of pressure for Game & Watch to, or uh, for Snake to sweet spot because of down tilt. It's gonna send you at a really awkward angle. You're gonna take a lot of percent if you survive it. Mm. Oh, so. You got turn around and can uh, bucket turn around to get back in place. That is actually really good for MZ, MZY, because now he has a lead that he had not had before. But, all things considered, DFC ties it up. DFC. Hello combos. Alright, 34%. Solid combo. Ooh, that's sticky. That sticky's super good. That's super yeah, crucial. Yeah, that gives him a huge advantage right now. Because now, if he's off stage and he wants to... He wants to pressure at uh, DFC. Yeah, he'll force him to sh at yeah. least shield. Just so many options open up for Snake with a sticky. I yeah. I, I feel that's, that... That was, super, that was one of the worst. That was super telegraphed. Yeah. I mean, he put the grenade down on top platform, and I he think, stood there, and I can yeah. see it coming from a mile away. And I wouldn't the, like, D DFC was there, and he was playing the game, like, you feel, you feel like he was, like, he's gonna, I'm just gonna shield this. Yeah. Plus that advantage, it just goes away once you use it like that. But, what he could have been doing is that he could have done it, dropped through, stuck him again, and then he would have better position. Yeah, I think he was trying to do something cool. 
I don't even know if it's cold. It might have been just a good option. But I mean, it would have. Uh, yeah, no, that would be cool, actually. <laughs> not, not to say. What we're... Good stick. MBZY has good sticks. Yeah, a lot of good down air sticks. Yeah. Thing. He understands how to interact with all the. Wow, that was. I kind of thought he was gonna live, like 86. I saw it hit, and I was like, it wasn't that bad. He's right back with Nair. Yeah. That's all you need. Having good kill options in Snake is really important because that was super smart, actually. Uh, okay, but what I was saying. Having good kill options on Snake is really important because if you can't kill him, he's gonna come back. He has guaranteed ways to come back unless he messes it up. Cause he can, uh, he can, uh, sticky, let it drop and he lands on top of it and shoots him back up. Yeah. And he's just gonna live every time cause he takes the wall. So being able to kill him, that, oh, sticky is such a good op. Not being able to kill Snake is like the worst thing in the matchup. That's why Falcon is a really good matchup. He's fast, he can put a lot of pressure on, and he has kill options. Snake's first matchup, if you're wondering. I feel like MBZY is getting a lot of breaks of just straight hits that are leading to early kills and, you know, some SDs. But DFC is just really dominating, even if the games have been a little closer than they should have been. I kind of feel like MVZY is trying to change up the way that he's playing, because he knows that it's kind of been not good for him. Possibly a little too little too late. Do you feel like talking? Do you want to talk? No, I was thinking about something else. <laughs> yeah, I was just. I was Ooh, about... I did not see a fist bump nor a hand key. I, I think that domination kind of. I mean, MVZY is a cool guy. I, I was talking to them earlier. Yeah. Uh,